Hi guys, we are here with your Bible reading. Sandy, I don't know if you're still watching or not. I don't think you are since most days it says my videos are getting zero views. But, um, in case you're the one that sent these, I would like to thank you for them. I just got this today. It's called Sim Simple Grace. A little magazine. I don't know if it's just a random thing that's wanting me to subscribe or if it's the magazine you talked about sending me a while back, which I didn't expect to get anymore, but um, I don't know if you're the one that sent it or not, but if you are, thank you. Like I said, it may just be a subscription wanting me to subscribe, a free book wanting me to subscribe. I don't know. I just got it in the mail today, but in case you are the one that sent it, thank you if you're watching. I wished you was watching, but I don't think you are. April and Linda, I hope you're watching. A lot of the days I go to YouTube and it says my video has zero views. Some days they'll have one. It really saddens me. Not because people ain't watching me. I just want to get God's word out there. That's all. But this is the bookmarker. Bookmark that came with the book. Got a bookmark for daytime and a bookmark for nighttime. I'm going to use it to help me keep place with my reading because I tend to skip a line every now and then. So I hold it up to mark my place here. So today we are going to finish 1 Peter, and we'll be reading 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 7, reading through chapter 5, verse 14. And we'll be reading in the New International Version, if you would like to follow along, if anyone is watching. And tomorrow we'll be starting with 2 Peter, and 2 Peter has three chapters. We're almost done with the Bible for the year, guys. Don't got too many books of the New Testament left. We don't got much of the year left either, do we? A little over a month. All right, guys. Or maybe a little over. Next month's December. All right, sure I'm going to follow along today? Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, I'm sure. I'm sure I'm just going to follow along today. So I'll tell you what the bookmark says on the side for daytime. The daytime has a bird and berries, and it says, May the love of Jesus put a song in your heart today. And the... Backside has a picture of a snow angel. This is the daytime. The backside has a picture of a snow angel and it says, May God's joyful angels grace your dreams. And it looks like this. Because I know it says it's for daytime and nighttime because it says on the bird, it says, Start your day, blessing bookmark. And on the back it says, with the snow angel before bed blessing bookmark. So I thought that was really cute. I'm going to keep it in my book, in the magazine. But I'm using it to keep my place here today. You ready now, Sherm? Sure? Where will we start now? Um, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 7. In the New okay. International Bible. Okay. Ready? You sure? Mm -hmm. You guys ready? I hope somebody's watching. <laughs> all right. The end of all things is near. Therefore, be alert and of sober mind so that you may pray. Above all, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. Over hospitality to one another without grumbling. Each of you should... Use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. 
If anyone speaks, they should do so as one who speaks the very words of God. If anyone serves, they should do so with the strength God provides, so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To him be the glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Now we're going to get into some more of what we was talking about yesterday, suffering for being a Christian. How the devil will test you. But like I said, if you want to get more into that and have a good example of that, read the book of Job. That's a very good book to read, especially if you're struggling with, why is God doing this to me? Am I the only one God does this to? Why is God being mean to me? I've done nothing wrong. Read the book of Job and it what probably help you to understand better than any book of the Bible that I can tell you to read for that particular question. So let's continue with our lesson of suffering for being a Christian today. Dear friends, do not be surprised at the fiery ordeal that has come to you to test you, as though something strange were happening to you. But rejoice inasmuch as you participate in the sufferings of Christ, so that you may be overjoyed when his glory is revealed. If you are insulted because of the name of Christ, you are blessed. For the spirit of glory and of God rests on you. If you suffer, it should not be as a murderer or thief or any other kind of criminal, or even as a meddler. However, if you suffer as a Christian, do not be ashamed. But praise God that you bear that name. For it is time for judgment to begin with God's household. And if it begins with us, what will the outcome be for those who do not obey the gospel of God? And if it is hard for the righteous to be saved, what will become of the ungodly and the sinner? So then, those who suffer according to God's will should submit themselves to their faithful creator and continue to do good. I'm going into ch chapter, chapter 5 now with the elders and the flock. To the elders among you, I appeal as a fellow elder and a witness of Christ's sufferings, who also will share in the glory to be revealed. Be shepherds of God's flock that is under your care, watching over them, not because you must, but because you are willing, as God wants you to be, not pursuing dishonest gain, but eager to serve, not lording it over those entrusted to you, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of glory that will never fade away. In the same way, you who are younger, submit yourselves to your elders. All of you clothe yourselves with humility toward one another, because God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Resist him, standing firm in the faith, because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of sufferings. And the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. To him be the power forever and ever. Amen. Now we're getting into the final greetings that will end First Peter. With the help of Silas, whom I regard as a faithful brother, I have written to you briefly, encouraging you 
and testifying that this is the true grace of God. Stand fast in it. She who is in Babylon, chosen together with you, sends you her greetings, and so does my son Mark. Greet one another with a kiss of love. Peace to all of you who are in Christ. And that was the book of 1 Peter. High five, guys. We finished the book of 1 Peter, another book of the Bible. Our psalm, we're continuing on with Psalm 119, with verses 81 through 96. Just let me know when you're there, sure. Psalm 119, verse 81 through 96. And that will be in the New International Version. You ready? You guys ready? My soul faints with longing for your salvation, but I have put my hope in your word. My eyes fell looking for your promise. I say... When will you comfort me, though I am like a wineskin in the smoke? I do not forget your decrees. How long must your servant wait? When will you punish my persecutors? The arrogant dig pits to trap me, contrary to your law. All your commands are trustworthy. Help me, for I am being persecuted without cause. They almost wiped me from the earth, but I have not forsaken your precepts. In your unfailing love, preserve my life, that I may obey your statutes of your mouth. Your word, Lord, is eternal. It stands firm in the heavens. Your faithfulness continues through all generations. You establish the earth, and it endures. Your laws endure to this day, for all things serve you. If your law had not been my delight, I would have perished in my affliction. I will never forget your precepts, for by them you are preserved my life. Save me, for I am yours. I have sought out your precepts. The wicked are waiting to destroy me, but I will ponder your statutes. To all perfection I see a limit, but your commands are boundless. And that's where we're stopping with Psalm 119 today. And our Proverbs reading today is Proverbs chapter 28, verses 15 and 16. And again, that will be the New International Version. Sherm, let me know when you're ready. You ready? You guys ready? Here we go. Like a roaring lion or a charging bear is a wicked ruler over a helpless people. A tyrannical ruler practices extortion, but one who hates ill-gotten gain will enjoy a long reign. All right, guys, that was our Bible reading for today. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. We are going to go over to Brother Sherm now with, your, with our homework. later and when I get done I'll give it to Cindy and she'll probably give it to Myrtle when she's done with it. Hmm. We like to share books, magazines and stuff. Alright, you ready Sharon? Our homework question for last night was To whom does the writer of Hebrews attribute Psalm 95? Yeah. And the answer we should have came up with is 
The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. And the homework question Sherm has picked out for us tonight is... What apostle claimed that no scripture had come about through the prophet's own efforts, but by God's will? And get help finding that in the book of... Second Peter. Second Peter, which we'll be starting on tomorrow. And again, the question is... Good question for tonight, huh? Before we start reading it. What apostle claimed that no scripture had come about through the prophet's own efforts, but by God's will? Alright guys, that was your Bible reading, or your homework. I'm sorry, I'm distracted. I'm just, i just been upset thinking about the views on the videos seeing them every day and seeing zero views. Some days I'll see one and I'm like... I'm trying to do this for God, you know, to get God's Word out there, but... and I share it to so many places, but if nobody's watching, I mean... I'm not helping any not helping anybody to learn about Jesus if nobody's watching. So it's kind of pointless to keep making the videos if no one's going to watch. So I guess I'll just watch the views here the next few days and decide what to do, but um, let's get out our prayer books if you guys got your prayer books. We need to keep Sandy in our prayers. I don't know if she has to work tonight or not, but um, please keep Sandy in your prayers that she has a good nights at work when she does go. Um, please pray for April and Linda Thacker. They both have a lot of health problems. Please keep Eric in your prayers. Eric still needs a kidney. He lives in New Jersey. He's 24 years old. He's on dialysis already. He's been on dialysis for four years. So we need to pray extra hard for Eric. Please keep Macy in your prayers. She's 16 and has a brain tumor. Still no new updates on Macy. They just say, you know, like they do for my lungs, keep coming back in six months for a CAT scan, what they always told me. And I just, I just stopped going because they started saying that I wouldn't fit on the CAT scan machine, so. And then I switched doctors and they said the same thing again, so. Unless I go to a bigger hospital, I'm, I just haven't fooled with making an appointment with another doctor. So. I know how she's, so she's just having those, that's what they're telling her, you know, just like every six months or whatever to come back so they can keep checking. So I know that's got to be just. how awful that's got to be, you know, them not doing something about it, but I don't know. I know how it feels a little bit because having to go back every six months for those scans and then, you know, they show more and more or things have changed a little or things haven't changed, but they still don't want have no answers. It just gets so, so depressing. And she's only 16, so she might have to fight this her whole life, even. And she's only 16. 
Please keep Kenny Wellman in your prayers. Um, Kenny he needs a liver, or not liver, sorry. He needs a kidney and pancreas transplant. He's got diabetes really bad. You remember when he went in to have his transplant? He was ready to have his transplant. They had a pancreas and kidney ready for him, um, a deceased donor. Um, and then when it was time for the surgery, right before the doctor came in to do one last check and then felt diabetic sores on the bottom of his feet and then canceled the surgery. So that was really heartbreaking. So now he's waiting for a kidney and a pancreas all over again. So please keep him in your prayers. Please keep Tater, Bridget, Luann, and family in your prayers. Tater's going to be going through a lot for a good while. So he really needs prayer. Please keep Sherman Crabtree in your prayers. Sherman's eyes has really been bothering him. We still haven't got the appointment yet. They haven't made the appointment with the eye specialist yet, but hopefully we'll hear from them this week sometime. Um, and then they'll, they're going to make him an appointment with an ear, nose, and throat doctor as well. And they have to, he has to go to a doctor for his hearing. Because years, when they checked his hearing years ago, he had partial hearing loss in both ears, and now he, his hearing's worse. I can practically yell at him sometimes, and he can't hear me, so. Unless he's sitting right on top of you, so. We'll see how that goes, too. And, um, the CAT scan showed on his head that why he's got to go to the ear, nose, and throat doctor. He had a, he's got a big cyst in his sinuses, like right here which they, we already knew about that one from the last CAT scan. And this one showed that he's got polyps on both sides now, several polyps. So, yeah. So got to go for that. And he's got a lot of doctoring coming up. And he's been having a lot of pain in his back, but he's got lumbar spinal stenosis. So um, he's always in a lot of pain with his back, but it's really been hurting lately. and. His stomach's been bothering him last night and today. He was up all night with a sick stomach, so please keep him in prayer. And he still really needs a car. We still don't have a car and really need one. Would help a great deal. Take a miracle to get that as well. So please keep um, him in prayer for that. Please keep Cindy Welsh in your prayers. She's got some health problems. Please keep Rhonda Karshner in your prayers. She's got a lot of health problems. Please keep Christopher Surback in your prayers. Chris has got a lot of health problems, as you know. And I talked to him the other day, and he might have a broken vertebrae. Poor boy never gets a break, and they're going to have to take half his lung out. I don't know exactly when that's going to be, but I'll keep you guys updated when I get updated. I love that boy so much. I wish I could change places with him so he don't got to go through what he does. And he don't, he don't want nobody to feel sorry for him either. He's just always like, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. He don't want you to worry about him. He was in a lot of pain the other day. I knew he was in a lot of pain if he told me he was in a lot of pain because he's not one to complain. And he told me he was in a lot of pain, so I knew he was really hurting. But that was due to the broken, that might have been the broken vertebrae. They had x-rays done, but they're not sure yet. He's in a sling. They might know by now, of course, but I don't know. Um... So please keep him in prayer. He really needs the prayers. Please keep Abby Myers in prayer. Still haven't heard from her. She still has me blocked and has me out of her life. 
please um, keep Jimmy Myers in your prayers. I haven't heard from him either. I message him and send him things online, but I haven't heard from him since. I haven't heard from Abby, so I don't know if she stopped him from talking to me or what. Him, her and her mom, I don't know, but I haven't heard from him either. Please, um, and he goes through a lot, so please keep Jimmy in your prayers. Please keep Shannon and her son Giovanni in your prayers. Giovanni is a little boy with a terrible illness. He goes through a great deal. Please um, what, pray for Donald and Kathy Keller. Roy and Lori Mollett, they, both have, they all have a lot of health problems. Please pray for Debbie Lee. She has a lot of health problems and her sugar's been really high lately. So we want to pray for that. Please keep Tammy Ashworth in your prayers. She's got a lot of health problems. Please keep Jayla in your prayers. She's trying to get water to villages in Africa. Bless her heart for that. Please keep Zach in your prayers. He needs prayers just to be able to swallow and talk again. He has a brain injury. Please keep Ramona Henry in your prayers. You know, she's still recovering from being in the hospital where she went into septic shock from that spider bite. She still got the wound back on her leg and everything. So she's still healing and she's diabetic as well. Really bad diabetic. Please keep Dora Carper in your prayers. She's a widow and lives alone. Please keep Mindy Gallimore and Melody Ramey in your prayers. They both need to bring their lives to God. Please keep Sarah Gillum in your prayers. She's got a lot of health problems. Please keep Patty Haynes in your prayers. That's Sherm's mom. Pray that their relationship gets better and Patty's health gets better. Please keep Donald Trump, our soon-to-be president, in your prayers. That he stays safe and does good for our country. And please keep Kelly and Jansen Dickinson in your prayers. They both have been sick here lately with a virus or something that's going around. I know Kelly had an earache the other day, or an ear infection, one, or both, so please keep them in your prayers. And that is our prayer request, guys. Sure, is it still playing? Yeah. All right, guys, we are done for today. Um, I hope you guys have a good rest of your night. Let's bring those souls to Jesus, and God willing, we'll see you again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless.